is prepared by the engineer Anelis Hernandez and is presented by Julio Banks. The webinar is going to be short, approximately 30, 30 minutes. We thank you for your attendance. If you have any questions, you could do it through, via email or follow chat by the chat room. The term tough site refers to a tall country structure that supports one or more tolling move, movements for tall collection and its associated infrastructure. There are three types of main designs. Discuss the one in the middle. So we have the non-accessible cantilever gantries, shall a tricord truss, which, which they support frame to position the tall equipment over the lane. Or maintenance access is provided from underneath the structure and road closures. By for are always required perform towing equipment maintenance. <coughs> Non-accessible span gantry, non-accessible span gantries shall be multi-core, three, three minimum, truss structures with a support frame to position the tow equipment over the lanes or maintenance access is provided from underneath the structure and road closures by shell and form are always required to perform towing equipment maintenance. Last is the accessible gantry. Accessible gantry shall be multi-core, four mineral, truss structures. The accessible gantry is a trapezoidal, quad cord truss. The accessible gantry provides a deck, that, that means a walkway, to maintain equipment over light traffic and allows for secure access to the deck via an elevator platform and con connecting stairway accessible by maintenance vehicles such as system, system lift or bucket trucks. The towing equipment can be retracted to the deck where it can be serviced over light traffic by trained technicians. Road closures could still be required to perform certain towing equipment maintenance tasks. These are the specifications that will be utilized. These are the loads that we use in the model to be presented today. This is the first type of gantry. It's a non-accessible tricord truss cantilever gantry. These are elevation. This is a typical plan view. The uh, non-accessible tricord truss gantry is the same elevation type of view on the GTR document. This is the accessible multi-core trust gantry. The battle we're going to discuss has divided in three components, the web, the framing, and the core. The materials are shown in the section properties as well. This is type this type of gantry will be the non-accessible tricore trust gantry to be analyzed today. This is the one we're going to model in zero fem today. This is the model uh, of view in three dimension. Now we're going to proceed to execution of the program. The model has been created completely. We're going to have an overview of how we built it. In this view, the model has been created including mesh. In this view, we show the lines representing the members. The, the model was created from points and lines using the, the drawing commands in CFM. CFM possesses a great variety of commands for drawing, which can be used to design lines, points, surface areas, and solids. Once the model was created, that means points and lines, we want to define the materials to be utilized. These are the different types of materials that we used based on the requirements of GTR specifications. Once we have defined the materials, then we define the section properties of each member. The ones we can see are sectional areas. Notice as part of the sections we define, we have defined a rigid transverse section to emulate the connection between the gantry and the column. Once we have created the three phases, create, create the geometry, define the material, and the section properties, we'll be ready to match the model. Notice that the product has a series of options to define different types of materials according to the building codes. Also, soil can be defined for different types and any type of section properties, including embedment or steel. 
the mesh uh, tab. So we'll actually use the word the mesh options. When we create the mesh, we have all the properties so they are geometry created. We define these sections and we can see the mesh for that particular element by divisions, which the user will specify at the moment of mesh creation. The mesh can be removed and recreated based on the needs of the user. The model is now completed, including the mesh, and you can see the relative dimensions of each section. As we are working in a three-dimensional space, you can see the elevation, plan view, and elevation side view. At this point, we apply the loads. These are the different loads that we have defined according to the GTR. Then load, self-weight, we load in various directions. We have also defined all the random conditions. Different kinds of analysis can be shown. Here we have wind loads, strain. We see all the loads apply on the surface of each different element. Now that the loads cases have been established, we're ready to analyze the model. Upon execution of the analysis, the results can be displayed. For instance, we will see the displacements due to the wide direction wind load. Notice the deformation major at the middle, approximately equal to 3.6 inches. Similarly, we see all the results of the spaces for different load cases. We can also see the effects of our mesis in the steel. But our mesis is a scalar of stress to be compared to the yield strength of the material. In this case, we see a major concentration of our mesis at this point of, of about 48 KSI, which is less than the yield. This units can be changed at will just by selecting the units desired. or the beginning of the project. The user has a great variety of options of uh, units to be used. Once you have seen all the results, the user must specify the design code to be utilized. In this case, we're going to use the AISC ASD for steel design. To uh, analyze the model, we need to create low combinations to do the design. We need to we need to combine the different nodes. In this case, we created these combinations. The design criteria consists in verifying if the demand or the capacity is less than unity. In this case, we see the results in the total criteria. is 15% of total. That means that only 15% of the total capacity. Notice that most of the concentration occur at the connections of the vertical members to the horizontal member. CFM is a very powerful software and very easy to use. To create analysis of designs or actual designs based on analysis results of any kind of infrastructure project. At this time, we have completed the demonstration. As promised, it took us about half an hour. We thank you for your attendance. You, uh, your comments are welcome. If you have any comments, just contact us with any ideas how to improve the webinars. And any ideas or things you want wish to see in the future?